And we are live. What's that? I'm only taking a photo of this because I'm sending it to my stepmom. Oh, yeah. I won't judge you for being one of those people that takes photos of their (laughs) food, don't worry. Yeah. (laughs) Hashtag foodie. (laughs) (laughs) Hashtag insta foodies. Nah. Nah, like sometimes I will just like them Snapchat and stuff. Yeah. Nah, I won't send like a photo of it. So, are we going to make a podcast or are you going to like. Or am I just recording? Because <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be heard oh, by other humans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you want to make a podcast? <laughs> How about it? No, like I just put that. I just floated it up in the air. This is, as you can, as you can tell, for who anyone that may hear this, we still don't know if you will hear this because I don't know if this is going to go out to anyone. But I'm floating the idea of possibly, potentially, maybe making a podcast. <laughs> Right here, right now. <laughs> so what's the verdict, Chantel? The verdict on what? <laughs> <laughs> the verdict on the question of whether we're going to make a podcast or not. It's already oh, been going God. for a minute 16, so oh, this is basically podcast a podcast. About? <laughs> it's about making a podcast and the question of, will we make a podcast? <laughs> well, no. if we ran right. along for long enough, we technically did make a podcast. <laughs> exactly. So what even is life? What even is time? What even is space? I don't know. Ask the human race. Oh, wow. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, maybe we could ask interdimensional beings who are beyond the human race. Dun, 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 dun. Ask the green people. <laughs> what about the blue people? <laughs> what about the blue beings? Because they're not people. Well, there's no, actually I'm just a long story behind that. One time my mum, <laughs> she asked all my sisters, like, individually how they were. Then she asked me at the dining room table how I was. So I, I just decided to mess with her. And I was like, yeah, you know, been all right, except, you know, the green people. And she's like, the green people? What are you talking about? I should tell. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know, the green people, they've been listening to me and everything. I just follow me around. And she full believed me. And, like, my sister tried to tell her that I was messing with her, but she didn't believe her. But, yeah. like, bless my mum's heart, she just believed me. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I turned around. I was like, Mum, I'm just messing with you. Why did you have to ask me in front of everyone? Because everyone just stopped dead silent and, like... So your mum was a little... So I was just, like, seriously, yeah. She was a little gullible in that moment. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, I'd constantly been, go on there. about the green people just as a joke. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get it's bored, so I just continued on Running the family joke. Yeah, and I yeah. ended up saying that, like, the blue people... Like, there's the hierarchy and all the blue <laughs> people and stuff like that. You created a hierarchy of different coloured people. Like, I think the reason why I did that is because police officers wear blue and security guards wear green. <laughs> <laughs> in some in some um roles but like there's some security guards that wear black and some that wear blue i think yeah that's true yeah. i think it just depends on the company <laughs> yeah that's true yeah and like yeah. what shirt they decide to or give some, them yeah some of them just wear like plain white ones how about like we get how about we invent a company and then we give them tie-dye sh- the, the security guards get tie-dye shirts that'd be pretty sick I people wouldn't take awesome. them seriously, but like at least they'd be nicer. <laughs> people, would, people would be like, treat them with like more. There'd be much more love in the like in the yeah domain of security, and they wouldn't be so forceful. I don't think and fucking aggressive and thinking with their um, primitive brains. Yeah, that actually because, enjoy their job. Yeah, because they'd be wearing a tie dye shirt, which <laughs> is you can only be feeling love and happiness and. <laughs> and, all those, and all those emotions no, the if you're wearing a tie-dye, shirt. a tie-dye shirt you, you can't <laughs> be negative out. in a tie-dye shirt can you you can't I like this tea towel though hey yeah they're pretty cool you guys probably can't see this tea towel and I'm not going to tell you what colour it is so you're just going to be leaving lead, like in the dark for the about the tea towel it's green by the way <laughs> yeah I'm too kind <laughs> it's got palm trees. It's got, it does, it's got palm trees. Are they palm trees or are they like um, little green? Oh yeah. They're fern. They're, I don't know, it's some sort of a plant. It's yeah. like a palm tree or a fern. Or... Gemma got them for the beach thing that she was trying to go for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I have sitting on this table <coughs> a bottle of Jack Daniels Tennessee honey, which has been mostly drank, drunk. 
has 19 standards. What is a standard? <laughs> Don't ask oh, me. <laughs> the depth of our conversations, I just love it. I love it. Yeah. I wish I wish I could have this type of conversation with everyone. <laughs> but that is the global awakening that is going to take place and is taking place. So what's the dif- what's the difference between being woke and being enlightened or cr- like having What's the difference? Because I feel like being woke is such a, a broad term. To me, the difference is when you're woke, you're more obnoxious. You're like, I'm woke. I know what's going on. Like, so I have a certain amount of information. But when you're enlightened, you're woke, but you're also humble about it. If mm. that makes sense. You're just like, yeah, I know what's mm. going on, but I want to come from a place that actually sits right with my morals. If that yeah. makes sense. I think I think enlightenment is the highest form of <clears throat> consciousness that we can feel and it's just pure love energy and like love yeah. it's just every positive emotion and that's like it's just which is love yeah like, all of that combined is just love and <clears throat> like when I went to that Eckhart Tolle seminar and like being in his presence you just you can just feel it it's like wow this dude's like he's just got there hey like he's just he's 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 done it (laughs) yeah i went to a russell brand seminar and it was like the same because like Mm. everyone always thinks he's out there and stuff but like oh he's really smart oh his vocabulary (laughs) i'm so envious of because like like i'm not envious i I aspire to get to that that level of vocabulary um knowledge (laughs) we have a cat and a dog chasing it and then it'll be a dog chasing the cat soon. Yeah. A ch- cat chasing the dog. <laughs> That's so funny, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Ollie, what you doing? Ollie, you want to be on the podcast? Oh, you sniffing my Connie? <laughs> yeah, my feet stink. Yeah, probably. she goes chasing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Steps up. Sasha. Sasha the attacker. Yeah, she's feisty. <laughs> <laughs> feisty feline. <laughs> oh, they're classic. I've never actually seen such a good um, relationship between a cat and a dog, hey? Yeah, not like, me neither. It's, it's really awesome. Yeah, that's why it I love really them is. so much. Yeah. Like, they're, they're just amazing together. They, they are. She's more rough on him than he is her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, cats she are sort of more... The cat. the cat is more aggressive yeah, for they those are. listening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cats. Cats and dogs and cats and dogs and boots and cats and boots and cats. And <laughs> I was literally thinking. Oh, that. yeah. <laughs> Calm down, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have started producing beats and I'm basically the best DJ in the world, so no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Liam, be humble. You f- <laughs> I was going to say so. <laughs> <laughs> that was disturbingly bad. No. Yeah. But, like, I'm, like, really, really, in, like, loving making music and just putting out expressions of art. Like, it just makes me feel so... I'm, I feel so good when I'm making it. Like, we were talking about before how... Um, like, you just get into that flow state and you can make a song or, um, you know, write write a story or whatever art you do, like paint a picture, write poetry, anything. It's just about tapping into that state of flow and that state. They call it chi. Have you heard of chi? Yeah. In like um, Eastern culture. And like, um, <clears throat> I want to start doing chi gong, which is uh, like just being, like it's exercises, like light, ex- like little, but which works on, um, inheriting that universal energy and just and then you get into that state That's so it's, cool. you can literally tap into it at all times by just doing things like that and meditating all, all those things that get you into that state of mind but create the creative state is probably the best state for it I reckon mm. being creative but we need to, we need to make that song yeah, nah, that'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, we will though. Yeah, I haven't written too much recently. Well, we need to like, 
apply the actual bait and then like as it's going you can sort of think about it. do you want me to send you the the link for the what do i have to do um even if you just is send it like an mp3 like the mp3 or something after yeah, yeah. we'll work it out how to do that yeah 10 minutes <laughs> milestone one objective complete 10 minutes <laughs> now i don't even know do you have any like hectic things you've been pondering about life and existence and the universe lately any anything to bring up mm. yes and no <laughs> There's so Just much going like, on in the world. Yeah, how it's, corrupt everything is. Like, yeah, I've been thinking fuck about yes. it for ages, even before all yeah. the protesting stuff has been happening. Like, mm. just in general, like, not even, yeah. yeah just in I, general, I, people's yeah. mental health and everything, and like, the way that, like, this system works, how, like, we're not even raised and, like, taught in schools to, like, understand our own emotions properly. Like, you're taught what happiness and sadness is, like, just generally so you can like get the feel of other emotions yeah but like you're not really taught what to do with that by anyone and mm. like your parents yeah should be teaching you but how mm. they're supposed to teach you when they were never really exactly. taught themselves it's a generational like, yeah thing that's just yeah but we have to be the change we, yeah. we must it's our purpose it's our destiny it's our job it's our duty to do it yeah and once you like knowledge like um you know how they say <sighs> the student mm, the teacher becomes available to the student when the student is ready but yeah. once you become a student you then become a teacher yeah. because once you learn you have to give back that knowledge or you, otherwise you you actually learn from being a teacher so yeah. the teacher learns by teaching and it's like, oh, okay, so this is how this is um, learnt. And, like, and then you learn through teaching and you learn through learning. Yeah, because so sometimes it's, it's a double way street. To, like go out there and research things that you might necessarily not have like, ever come across as well. Yeah, and different... Like new research different, and like, stuff that's always coming out. Yeah, different aspects to a p particular topic or like idea or concept that you didn't you weren't aware of like yeah yeah it's like um yeah that's just innovation but like that should happen ideally i think one of the main purposes in life is to um to make the next make it the world a better place for the next generation and like yeah. the next like be an innovator do your best be the best person you can be pursue knowledge wisdom all those good things like that and then do your best with your creativity and whatever it is that you desire to achieve and do in life and then pass that knowledge on to the next generation and and um teach them and coach them and uh, like have the want or the like, you should want them to succeed and to, like, say, yeah. you know, like, they said the man would never break the two-hour mark for a marathon, which was done, I think, the last year or this year. They, like, they were, you know, that was a um, a barrier that... It's like with Usain Bolt, like, many years ago, they said no one will ever break the 10-second mark for a 100-metre sprint. It's yeah. like, well, it's been done now, so what's next? Yeah. It's like, yeah. okay, next. It's called evolution. Yeah. And like, I was listening to a Kevin Hart podcast where he was talking about this and Kevin Hart's just so inspirational because he, he just has that, he just is doing it right, hey? Yeah. Like he's just doing it right and he's, he really wants to make the world a better place. And there's a lot of people that like, aren't motivated by that. And I think that's like, like, I was looking at that um, speech that Dr. Joe Dispenza did. <clears throat> on, it's called You Are the Placebo. Highly recommend people watch it. It's a two-hour like, seminar yeah. he did in Mexico City. 
and he says that the highest form of motivation is the desire to want to change um, an entire culture for the better. Like, and it and is and like and but he says the lowest form. I think there's like four levels that he broke it down into motivation, but the lowest form is is just wanting to um, to to acquire money for the sake of acquiring money. Yeah. That's just a greedy, a greedy desire, a greedy motivation, and like pointless. Pointless. <laughs> Unless you're going to yeah. be generous and, like, give it all back and share your money and share that with yeah. people who deserve... Like, personally, I've yeah, been I don't curious know. and want to fund, like, scientific researches and, like, programs and different mm. things to actually, like, progress the world so that, like... Yeah. We could actually move forward just because I don't want to see what other people could create, like... On yeah, top exactly. of myself, like there's only so much that That's I can do on my hey. own. Yeah. If I had so much money that like I didn't know what to do with it, mm. as well, if you wouldn't. That's what Elon Musk yeah. did by <laughs> creating the <clears throat> the car that the electric car that um goes zero to sixty miles an hour in I think it's five seconds, which was previously like not even close, and like okay. that that and but what he did to to achieve that goal was he hired like 40 of the smart of the best engineers or the best innovators around the world and he brought them all into one place where they could collaborate and work on ideas together and brainstorm and come up with something and look what he achieved and like that's literally how we can human potential but yeah a lot of these like companies go they don't ever get anywhere because there's no trust within the company you have to actually trust your employees, like, or the employees have to trust each other. Yeah. The the people who are hired within the company, and then, like, want to. You have to want to um, see other people do well. People yeah. who are who are selfish and like, they don't they don't want anything other than to be, and they're competitive, like too competitive. Competitiveness can be good. Yeah. In certain ways, but like. Not when you like start sabotaging the other no, person. No, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And yeah. Selfishness and just be like, no, I'm, I'm having it's, it's mine. Like. Yeah. Fuck off. Be generous. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just yeah, people don't understand that you actually receive. When you give. Yeah. The more you give, the more you receive. It's literally. A, a universal law. Like the law of karma. Yeah. Or the law of attraction. Yeah. The law of... Yeah, there's the universal law and then there's the law that's um, in place that enslaves the masses. (laughs) Why am I laughing? That's fucked up. I think it's because it's so fucked up that I'm laughing. Yeah, like an ironic laugh. Yeah, it was not a laugh of I'm laughing because people are enslaved. It's yeah, but um, it'll be changed and it won't be long before like uh, we're going through a mass spiritual awakening on Earth right now. Like you can see, people are like slowly starting or more increased like. So I think as inf- information gets put out on the internet at more of an exponential rate, like, yeah. so like, yeah, um, the more and more information out there, the more and more people like see things, understand things and, and sort of realize what, what's actually going on. But you have to have the desire to, or the, make the commitment to, um, to learning like to, or to doing your own research yeah doing your own research like you can't just a university you know the government run or the uh, the state run um, facilities even the a lot of the um, corporate owned and the privately owned facilities and um, things like that like learning institutions yeah 
they they still are oppressing people because they're like in their well first of all how bullshit are most of the courses that you like a lot of the stuff that you have to actually do it's like this is the most retarded like it's just common sense but it's like like you have to do so many little things that like and it's like okay we could make this so simplified and we could learn so much more and create such a better system why are we doing it the way we're doing it and it's because the people who are running the show want to be want to have the power and want to oppress people and it's fucked up and they will stop doing that at once because yeah. I said it nah no, nah, like, I think everyone's starting to like stand up more for like yeah, their for rights sure. and everything. Like they'll have to be forced into change. Yeah, but like standing up for rights with all the violence that's going on in America with the the racism protests and stuff, like violence is never gonna be the answer. Violence is never Yes, look, throughout history that's how um that's how armies have been able to overtake nations and build, you know, but that's not yeah. the way. That is not the way at yeah. all. Like, surely we can start learning from our mistakes. <laughs> yeah, like... Well, we should have already, but... It's, um, it can be disheartening to see, but, like, you can't let that negative... Any of the negativity... Um, you can't let it dictate the way how you feel like you you just yeah okay there's a difference between letting an emotion stagnate in your mind and just stay there and and then make you feel and then that creates a mood and you're in a mood of a shitty mood all day um or you can just be aware of it like okay yes there's messed up stuff going on i'm gonna be the change i'm going to be the best person I can be and have the most positive effect on all of those people that I come into contact with and have just do everything I can to be the best person I can be and that's all you can do and that is so powerful because it literally you come into contact with someone it's just a where energy and like you bring it, bring energy into a, into like a room of, like going to a corporate office building, and they're in their little cubicles, and it's like, wow, this is depressing. It's like the Matrix, how they're sitting in there, yeah. and it's like, and then but like, I I I bust in there with a friggin' UE boom, and I'm pumping, like, absolute a banger, and then people, and it's like, this guy's got a vibe, and then like you make someone smile. You make them happy. You make you you change their emotion. Yeah. You change the way they feel for the better. They have that. They have that effect on someone else. It's it's a domino effect, and it just and it's so powerful. And people don't understand that the effect you have other on other people and the energy you bring into your daily interactions really does um, change the world. Yeah. So definitely helps make a difference. Yeah. Do you reckon we should wrap it up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laters. Bye. <laughs>